Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, takes this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President, Honorable William Samoe Ruta, following the lift of a 10 year ban on genetically modified organisms, GMO imports and cultivation in Kenya. We need to be told, what needs to be told is that lifting of this ban is as a result of a real need to ensure food and feed security and to safeguard our environment. Climate change and severity of drought and emergence of new pests such as folamiwam and the maize stock borer and new diseases such as the maize lethal necrotic disease pose a real threat to food, feed, and nutritional security in the country. These insect pests are very expensive to control, with farmers spending up to Kenya shillings, 12,000 shillings per acre on pesticides alone. These pesticides are also harmful to human health and to the environment, especially water. These pests significantly contribute to low production that currently stands at seven to 10, 90 kilogram bags against a potential of 22 to 35 bags per acre of maize. We lose about 13 million 90 kilogram bags of maize to stop borers annually, which is valued at Kenya shillings 32.5 billion. Maize stock borers also increase aflatoxin, contamin aflatoxin contamination, which is a health hazard to human beings. GMOs have been grown for almost 30 years now with no verified health problems being reported. Scientifically, GMO is proven to be safe for food, feed, and for the environment, and is currently approved for cultivation in about 70 countries worldwide. Kenya has a fully robust and functional policy, legal and institutional framework for growing, uh, governing the growing of GMOs. Therefore, after, after a decade of successful research, three BT maize varieties were recommended for release by CAFIS, but the final release and placement of the same on market was pending cabinet decision. Therefore, in the 2023 long range planting season, CALRO and its partner AATF will avail 11 metric tons of certified seed to be planted by farmers on 500,000 acres across the mid-altitude agroecological zones for demonstration purposes, pending full commercialization by private companies the year after. And as required by law, CALRO worked with the regulatory agencies, namely National Biosafety Authority, NEMA, and CAFIS on the various steps, on the various steps. We assure Kenyans that the BT maize is safe as conventional varieties for food, feed, and the environment. We thank our partners for working the research journey with us. Thank you very much. So the, the seed for the GM uh, maize will be sold by private companies and also by Calro at the prices similar to the current maize varieties. There'll be no difference because the varieties that have been developed uh, as GM are the same varieties that we use and it's just the introduction of the uh, gene that controls stock borer and drought resistance. In terms of cultivation of the 
GMAs, the agricultural practices that are going to be used are similar to that being used by other maize crops. <laughs>